Hi everyone, my name is Jakub and I work as a developer relations engineer for capturing reality. I am excited to share this tutorial series with you about drone mapping in reality capture. We'll go over every step of creating a drone mapping project. Basically, I want to simulate a real-world job that you might encounter as a surveyor in your career. Besides this introduction, we divided this series into four parts. In the first part, we are going to deal mainly with the camera alignment and optimizing the alignment. In the second part, we'll reconstruct the model, clean it, texture it, classify it, and generate model cross-sections. In the third part, we'll work with ortho projections, contours, measurements, and ortho mosaic editing. In the fourth and last part of this tutorial series, we'll go over exporting our creations and using them in third-party applications like Cloud Compare and QGIS. Let's take a brief look at the content of this series. Here is the finished project with all of the results ready for export, and I want to use it to briefly show you what we'll do in the following videos. Let's start with the inputs. I created this project from 299 images, and as you can see, they are also georeferenced. But this georeference was not good enough for this surveying project, so that's why the surveying team also measured 6 ground control points that you can see right here. These ground control points were measured with an RTK GNSS receiver, and we used them to georeference the entire scene accurately. After alignment and optimization with the ground control points, I generated a classified dense point cloud and a textured model with one 8K texture. Here we can see the dense point cloud. In E1DS, we can turn on the classification. The classification was generated with the AI classify tool and I manually edited the classification using selections and class overrides. Next, I wanted to generate the cross sections of the entire site. When I turn on the cross sections here in the 1DS and zoom in with the mouse scroll wheel to this area, we can see the cross sections are going through the cars which was not what I wanted. So I used the classification and generated a second mesh without any artificial objects on the surface. Next, I created an ortho projection from the clean high resolution model. The ortho mosaic, the digital surface model and the digital terrain model are calculated in one step. I used image mosaicing for aerial datasets to render the ortho projection. Like I mentioned, we also have the DSM and DTM and we can toggle between them from the ortho 2D view tab. Next, I generated the contours. Like the cross sections, I wanted the contours to be from terrain only. That is why I used the digital terrain model without artificial objects. Next, I used the measure tool on this pile of gravel. When we enable and select this region here in D1DS, we can see all relevant information. We can see the 2D and 3D area, fill and cut volumes, and not just that. We can also see the height profile along the boundary of this region in this 2D view. We can use this height profile to do more measurements and we'll use it to set up the base plane at custom height for volume calculations in one of the following videos. I will also show you how I use the Enhanced Mosaic tool to edit a small part of the ultra mosaic. This is the region we're going to replace with a new projection. Lastly, I want to show you how to export all of our results and generate reports for our use or the clients. And of course, I will show you how to open our results in third-party applications. In Cloud Compare, we'll check the classified dense point cloud and we'll overlay it with the cross sections and the contours. In QGIS, we'll import the ortho projection and again overlay it with the contours and some other layers. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you will enjoy this tutorial series. You can watch everything from the beginning or just pick the video that contains the information you are after. If you have any thoughts or questions, feel free to add them to the comments. See you in the next one.